Hi there. Today we're going to make a video mixer using pure data. What's on screen right now is the actual mixer that we will make. Though we're going to start from the ground up for those who are new and just starting out. We'll stop the render and then we'll start a new clean patch to build from. We'll be using Pure Data Extended, the binary is compiled by Hans, because it has GEM, which is the library that we'll be using for this tutorial. To create a new patch, go to File New, and we'll move this patch onto our screen so that we'll fit with the others. The first thing that you want to do is create the gem window. We'll press the, on the keyboard Command 1 or Control 1 if you're on Linux or PC and type gem win. We can also do this from the menu. You just put an object and then we'll put a message to send to that object and type create. You'll notice there's a, a slightly thicker tab on the message window and on the object window. If you hover over that with your mouse, you, the mouse turns into a circle which will allow you to connect, make connections from box to box uh, using a wire. So now we're going to put a rectangle. This will be the canvas for putting our videos onto. We'll create a gem head. That's uh, a signal to start the render chain for those of you who are a little more technically inclined. Then we'll have a pix film object that's the object that will play back videos. Uh, PixMovie also works too, um, but for this tutorial we'll use PixFilm and connect those two objects together uh, using the tab technique. Here we're creating a, a message. This message says open dollar one. Dollar uh, one is a variable, so basically we're going to tell it to open whatever the input to that message box has been. And for the input, we'll create another object, open panel. You could just have a path uh, for the argument to open uh, directly to your file, um, but it's nice if you want to interactively be able to find your file and search around on the hard disk to have a open panel. And you can signal to start the open panel uh, with the bang. So let's make another object. This one will be a pix mix, and its initialization value will be zero. We'll sort of move it into the part of the chain where it can fit. And we'll make another message. This message is going to be auto, again with a with a variable, dollar one. The Pix Film object allows you to play back individual frames from your film, or you can use this auto message to tell it to just play back at the native frame rate of the clip. And we'll connect those up. And then we'll take the output of our hierarchy so far, plug it into the Pix Mix. And then we'll take a, a make a create a pix texture object that will allow us to take the video and place them onto our rectangle. PD is a very open system. There's I'm sure a lot of ways to make a video mixer. This is just kind of a simple way that I learned to to make one. If you have some other way that that works well, I encourage you to make a tutorial so we can all learn about it. 
now we'll we'll copy and paste our our video tree to create a second one so that we can have two videos and mix between the two we'll change the gem head to three and connect the pix film object to the second input of the pix mix and of course what mixer would be complete without a crossfader we'll create a horizontal slider and put it right in the middle for mixing between the two videos and that connects to the third input of pix mix so now it looks like we're ready to rock we'll click create and we get a big giant gem window. It's a little a little too big for our screen. We can uh, resize it. It's not quite as straightforward as just dragging the window. You have to actually give it an initialization variable before you start the creation of the window. So we'll destroy that window by sending the destroy message to the gem head and we'll create another message. This one being Demen 352 by 240. That's the quarter screen NTSC or VCD resolution. You'll notice that sometimes I'm in play mode or I'm in edit mode. If you hit Command E or Control E for Linux and PC then you can enter and exit command and play mode. The difference being you can move patches around in edit mode and then you can interact with the patches in play mode. And then we'll uh, we'll start the window up again and that uh, seems to fit a little bit better into the place we have assigned for it. So now let's let's do some of the fun stuff. Let's load in a video. Here's one that I converted from the the aquarium. That's a that's a jellyfish. I kind of uh, like to watch their amorphous bodies floating in the sea. And now let and then we'll start the render with the with the toggle. PD has a real time renderer, uh, though you have to send the gem head a signal to start the render, and you can do that quite efficiently with the toggle box. And we'll start the render. And we notice that our window is, is kind of a little bit smaller, uh, so we should resize it uh, with the number. And we'll copy paste that number box so that we get two of them. A lot of people like to work in widescreen. <laughs> That's why we chose the rectangle instead of the square. We'll connect the number box to the inputs of the rectangle, and then if you mung or uh, click drag on the box, then that can resize the rectangle so that it fits a little bit better. And here we're, we're loading up a, a second video, this one of a, a rendered helicopter that I made with some other 3D software, uh, possibly the source of a future tutorial. <laughs> And now if we drag on our slider, we see that there's kind of a very stepped mix just at one pole. So we should edit some of the preferences of this slider. And the major one being uh, PixMix has a, uh, has a floating point 0 to 1 information uh, spectrum. So we want to change that to be 0 to 1 and uh, we'll try it with the logarithmic and we see that it it does add a little bit more linearity to the the fade um, I know some of you like to customize the interface there's there's functionality for that within PD as well let's try and make the mixer big and uh, an orange just so that it's uh, adds a little flair to the on-screen presence. Now if we mix, we notice there's a kind of more of a logarithmic mix where most of the mixing happens in one corner, but let's try the linear type of uh, number stream. 
I kind of like that one <laughs> for sliding with our big orange slider. It's uh, it's a pretty s there we go. It's a pretty simple mixer, but then again, you never know when your friend might come and invite you to do some visuals at the warehouse party or nightclub, and now you'll know how to mix it up with PD.